Hey guys, welcome to Let's Talk Algorithms. This is Venkatesh. Today we'll be solving the problem product of array except self. So, given an array, names of n integers where n greater than 1, written an, written an array output such that output of i is equal to the product of all elements of nums array except nums of i. So, we'll start a workbook. Basically, the problem says you have if you have one, two, three, four, then we need a product of all the elements except itself. So it's like except one, uh, two into three, six, four, twenty-four, three equals two by eight because two into four into one, six one into two into three. So this is um, what the output has to look like but the catch here is uh, please solve it without using a division operator I mean basically um, if, if you don't have this restriction the brute force approach is basically uh, multiplying all the values um, and uh, using that value to divide by each uh, element so 24 by 1 24 by 2 24 by 3 24 by 4 you get the value but apparently you don't the program asks you not to use division and the time complexity has to be o of n so it, the like if you think about uh, the intuition uh, for like if you have to look for a o of n solution imagine right like you have an array what it, it basically it all comes down to product of all the left side values and product of all the right side values like imagine product of all the left left side values of at each element so at one it will be one at two it will be still one because on the left side there's only one for at the element three um, or the second index the value would be one to two it's two and at the last index it's one into two into three it's six so this is a product of left side elements right now um, imagine product of right side elements so at one it's uh, 2 into 3 into 4 24 uh, at 2 it is basically 12 at uh, 3 it's basically just 4 at 4 it's basically you know, you know just call it 0 or 1 right so now this is product of right side elements now if you see all you have to do is basically multiply these two values right 24 12 8 6 right now this is the output so this is the intuition behind the um, algorithm if you all you have to do is basically calculate uh, the sum of all left side values until that moment and return and multiply it with sum of all right side values so which will give you the output let's start coding let's comment this out we want an output array which is an integer let's initialize it with the length of numbers and also let's initialize the array um, with 1 so instead of calculating the left side and right side two times and using a uh, separate uh, array because the program asks for constant space right could you solve it with i mean this one the I mean, you don't have to solve it it's a follow-up but let's use constant space just use a result array that is output output of i is equal to one so let's assign each element of the output array with one and let's 
which character let the left side was used the left is equal to 1 so travel the away from the left that is from the start bounce so what you'll do is output of i is equal to star is equal to basically output of i into left and left star is equal to left is equal to left into nums of i if you see what you're doing here um, you're basically at each element you're calculating um, basically left is uh, the multiplication of all the left side elements and that you're using to assign to output array which initially has one so let's go with the right right is equal to one so since we need right side values let's start with the end of the index or the end index or the end of the array minus one i greater than or equal to zero I plus plus you will do output of i star is equal to right where right star is equal to right into nums of i and finally return output so what you're doing here is basically output of i um, you start from the back so in the last element of the see like initially when you calculate the left side values um, the last element wouldn't wouldn't have any right side values right so initially you multiply with one after that you multiply right with the last number in the array uh, because we need that for uh, the next like basically i minus two index uh, or I, a length of nums minus 2 index so this will ideally give you the output let's run the code see if it works the code is taking some time Just copy and refresh. Okay, run the code again. Alright, it's taking forever. imagine I'm on a paid plan they say they have a separate kind of queue for running the workloads of paid users the premium users but apparently they don't <coughs> accepted uh, beats 80% of Go solutions depending on the language two course if you have any questions uh, feel free to add a question on the video and if you like the videos please subscribe thank you